So a little bit more of what I want to show off with the Ernie Ball is just kind of give you a little idea of some of the frequencies here. I'm going to boost 770 hertz. You can actually really punch through some upper mids through that. That's just a great tone for uh, maybe a punk band or even a ska band. <laughs> Just add some low end with it, or you can just blend it. Some fun there. Now, the gain, I'll turn the gain down a little bit. Just to kind of reduce the overall effect there, I'm going to go back to the higher gain. And you can just hear that just grit and grunt that it puts through. Um, so that's just something beyond aural exciting. So that's why that's why this is not just an aural exciter. This actually has other functions to it as well. I'm going to go with a smooth switch here. Strings are very low on this bass, but that's one of the things that I like about the Ernie Ball. I want to try the EQ here on 1500 hertz. Cut. Boost. Now I'm going to try the 770 hertz. We'll start with a cut. And then boost. So you kind of get the general idea of what that does for this bass. Now I'm going to try it with a crisp button. It didn't really affect the EQ, but it affects the actual top end zing that you get. Go back to the cutting here. God, that sounds just crazy. 